All right, welcome back. We got solving exponential equations today. We're going to solve some exponential equations. Should be short and sweet. Let's see how it goes. Uh, first one here. Um, 275e to the 0.06x equals 1,000. First of all, these are exponential equations because your variable is in your exponent. Anytime that happens, it's called an exponential equation. What you need to try to do is isolate it the best you can. So what I'm going to do first right here is divide both of these sides by 275. And it's easy for me to say, I'm up. there we go. Dividing both sides by 275. And what happens over here just cancels. It gives me this e 0.06x power. Over here, I'm going to punch that in real quick, 1,000 divided by 275, and I get, um, actually, I'm just going to leave it a fraction. It may be easier. It'll be more, it'll be more accurate if I don't change it to a decimal yet, because that decimal didn't work out very good. Now, here's where it gets a little, the new step, I guess. To get that x off the exponent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do log of both sides. But because it's an e there, I'm going to do natural log. And remember what the rule is, the exponent goes in the front. So I'm going to put the 0.06x in the front, natural log e equals natural log of this. Now, the reason I'm doing natural log of the right-hand side, remember the rule, whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Now, here's the deal. Natural log of e, that's asking you e to what power is e. And obviously, this is the first power. So that just equals 1. So I can't say this out loud, but if you have a natural log and an e right beside each other, they really cancel each other. They don't really, it's not really canceling, it's just that's the value. Natural log of e is one, so that's just, that's just what it is. So here I have 0.06x equals the natural log of this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my calculator and punch in natural log of um, 1,000 divided by 275. That'd be more accurate than if I'd rounded it earlier. And I'm getting this right here. I get one point, come on, 1.29098. Several, you need to go a few decimal places there. Now divide that by 0.06 and it'll be done. Divide by 0.06 on my calculator and I get this 21.5164. Probably go about four decimal places for an answer today and that's how I tell you otherwise. Um, but. That's it, and you can obviously, you can check that on your calculator if it's on Friday's test just by plugging it back there and see if it does actually work. So, let's try a couple more of these. All right, this is a little blurry, but 10 equals 5e to the 4x. Again, start the same way. Try to isolate the e or the x minus 1 and divide both sides by 5, and I get e to the 4x equals 2. And I'm kind of stuck again, except I need that 4x isolated, so I'm gonna do, because it's an e, I'm going to do natural log of both sides. If it wasn't E, I'd probably do log both sides. So I'm going to do natural log of this side. And over here, remember, the exponent goes in the front, natural log E. And, of course, there's that natural log E again. So uh, it's really just 4X equals natural log 2. So my answer is whatever natural log 2 divided by 4 is. Now, on your homework in a, tomorrow, they're going to ask you for an exact answer and an S, and a... And a uh, decimal answer, that would be considered your exact answer, because that's as exact as you can get. Once you punch this in your calculator, you have to round. So that's one answer. Now punch it in, natural log 2, make sure you close parentheses, divided by 4, and I get this for my decimal answer, 0.1733 when I round it. So there's the decimal answer, here's the exact answer. All there is to it, really, pretty simple. Let's try a couple more. Okay. This, let's do a couple more here. Um, same directions, give exact solution and approximate decimal. The first one here is a little bit tougher. I just wanted to show you this one, even though it's got an E again. I'm going to move the 5 over first. You're trying to isolate that exponent. And by that, by doing that, i got to isolate the E first. So I'll move the 5 over. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. If I do that, I get 75 halves. And now I've got the E isolated. I need the X isolated. So I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing the last two. I'm going to do natural log of both sides. That puts the exponent in the front. And be careful with this exponent because it's x minus 1. That's why I did the parentheses there. And go ahead and do the natural log of this side too. Um, remember, natural log e, the value is 1. So it gives me x minus 1 equals x minus one equals this right here. So to get the x by itself, I'm going to move the 1 over. So I have natural log 75 halves plus 1. Now, that is the exact solution right there. Before you punch it in, that's... Some books call that calculation ready form. It means it's ready to punch in your calculator. But here we go. Punch it in. I'm going natural log 75 halves. And then close up parentheses and plus 1. And I get this 
43. And that's my decimal approximation, and this right here, the one above it, was my exact answer. Okay, one more here. Um, this one has no E, so I want to show you one of those. And again, there's nothing I can really do there. There's nothing to divide or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do log both sides. And because there's no E, I'm actually going to do log. Instead of natural log, I'm going to do log. And I'll be honest with you, if you did natural log, you would get the same answer. So that's kind of your choice which one you want to do. So right there, i got 3x log 6 equals log 12. I'm going to divide both sides. I'm trying to get the uh, x by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So I have log 12 divided by log 6. And I still have that 3, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So I really get this, log 12 over 3 log 6. That is the exact solution because I haven't punched anything in yet. Once I start my calculator, I have given up my exact solution for decimals. So punch it in now. I'm going log 12. Close that parentheses, divided by, open for the whole bottom, 3 times log 6. And I'm closing the whole bottom in one parentheses, and it gave me this, 0.4623. There's my decimal answer. There's my exact answer. All right, one more here. I want to show you one interest problem, because you're going to have some of these in your homework tomorrow. It says, how long will it take to triple a $250 investment in an account that pays 4.5% compounded quarterly? Now, you know our formula looks like this. The amount is the principal, 1 plus R over N to the NT power. We've had that one before. Now, our initial investment is 250. That's what the P is. If it's going to triple, that becomes 750. 1 plus R says R is 4.5%. Change that to a decimal, 0 0.045. Compounded quarterly means divided by 4. NT, N is 4. T, I don't know. I said how long. So I'm going to put the 4T up there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to work out, well, let's do two things at once. Let's divide both sides by 250. So I'm going to do 250, 250. That gives me three over here. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and punch in all that stuff in my parentheses. I'm going to go 1 plus open 0 0.045 divided by 4 on the calculator. That gives me this in my parentheses, 1.01125 to the 4T power. Um, now, I'm kind of stuck because I can't divide, add, or subtract anything. So now I'm going to do the log of both sides. I'm going to do log 3. Over here, remember, the exponent goes in the front of the log. 4t log 1.01125. Now, to get the t by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by this log right here. So I'm going to do log 3 on my calculator divided by log of 1.01125. And I got 98 point. 2027. Now that's still 4t though, so I'm going to divide that by 4, divide that answer by 4, and I get 24.6. We're going to go 24.55, but it's in years, so I don't need to go to specifics. We're going to go 24.6 years, so a little more than 24 and a half years to triple your money right there. So hopefully it's not too bad. I can always, I can always say that, but I don't think it's that hard. Just doing log of both sides, careful in the calculators. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll work on several in class and become experts at it. See you then.